Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Aquas. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Aquarius. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves. Shout out to the beautiful Soul Tribe. Thank you all so much for your continuous love and support here. It is always a pleasure to have you here right along with me and evolving. All right. And welcome back to the ones that are new and the ones that are returning. Thank you all so much for your comments and your feedback down below. I see you, I hear you, and I appreciate you. Thank you so much, loves. And if you're new here, subscribe, Aquarius. We would love to have you here, part of our soul family with us. And be sure to set your notification bells for when I do go live on this platform. I do go live for all Zodiac sign readings just about every day. We have fun with Wake and Tarot. And then I do also go live for questions as well. If you have questions that you would love to be answered throughout the week or during my live streams, all right? So no further ado, Aquas, we're going to go ahead and dive into your love life. We're going to see what's coming towards you for love and romance, all right? So like, subscribe, share the message here today with who you know Aquas that the reading may resonate for, all right? So let's dive in, Aquarius. Let's see what's coming towards you for love and romance. Let's see what do you need to know. What's going on in Aquarius love life, all right? The reading here is general. So definitely take here what resonates for you, Aqua, and please leave here on the table what doesn't so it gives space and opportunity for whomever needs the message, right? Okay, so smash that like button, loves. As you all come in, they'd be very much appreciated. Let's see what's going on in Aquarius love life. This is for all Aquarius placements, all right? What do we have for my Aquas? What do Aquarius need to know? All right, we got the star card here. That is actually your energy, Aquarius. That is Aquarius energy, as we can see with the Aquarius symbol there, okay? So this tells me that you're in a space in an energy of, for one, you are in your space of your own card here, meaning that you are through the process of evolving, healing, going through a spiritual elevation i feel like here you know some of you all are definitely rejuvenating your energy your spirit um you're coming into what we call our purpose you're going into a renewal stage here as well like a rebirth kind of for yourselves here so you're seeing things from a different perspective even when it comes to your love life when it comes to your surroundings things of that sort right you're giving more back to the universe to the creator uh, to the most high, whatever you indicate that for, all right? But I do see a balance here coming around for you now, okay? Yes, I love it, Aquarius. Let's see what else is coming towards you for love and romance here. What's going on in Aquarius' love life here? What do Aquarius need to know? Spirit gods, guardian angels, thank you so much. What do we have here for the aquas? The Four of Swords, doing a lot of meditating, doing a lot of thinking, contemplating right now. This is uh, Libra energy here, all right? Also, this could be Gemini or Aquarius like yourself. But I see a lot of contemplating, meditating, resting, healing, doing those definitely good meditations of being able to notice your surroundings, right? Some of y'all could be doing a lot of astral projecting as well in your dreams. Let's clarify the Four of Swords here. The Ten of Cups. Some of you are meditating on what is your Ten of Cups moving forward going to be like, look like for you. All right. The Ten of Cups talk about divine love, harmony, peace, family, fulfillment. So some of you all, this could be a Pisces as well here or a Cancer or Scorpio. But this is the energy where I feel like you're just trying to figure out 
you know, what type of connection or relationship do you want to have or establish for yourselves, right? Some of y'all could have got an offer here as well. So you could be meditating or contemplating on that. How do I want to pursue this offer? Do I want to, you know, come together, blend families for some of you all even, or going into that next stage or level of a commitment here as well? Let's clarify the Ten of Cups with the Four of Swords. Thank you, Spirit. Now we have, uh-oh, these are upside down. We have the King of Cups. And then we have the two of wands. So this talks about planning. As I, That's the kind of energy that I was picking up here. Planning. The two of wands talks about planning, making a decision, making a choice. So with the four of swords, you're kind of meditating, thinking it over, contemplating how you want to take this approach here. Okay. And then we got the king of cups here. This could be a Scorpio again, a Cancer. All right, or a Pisces as well. This could be an air sign or a fire sign here for the two of ones. That is Aries energy, also Sagittarius and Leo. Yeah, some of y'all are coming into a space where you are in love. Or someone is in love with you. This could be an Aries here. Or again, this could be a water sign, a Scorpio, a Cancer, or a Pisces. And some of y'all Aquarius like yourself. But I do see you all planning for your Ten of Cups. Planning for your ultimate happiness. Wow, I love it. Let's clarify the Two of Wands. Let's see how is this plan coming out for you. I definitely see you and someone really trying to put things together, lay things out for this foundation that you two are wanting to build for each other here. Yeah, so there's definitely like a serious conversation, a heart-to-heart -heart conversation for some of y'all that is being had with your significant other or the person that you've been dating. You're both kind of like, you know, where do you want to go in the next couple of months, the next couple of years, trying to see where is each other at as far as on their timeline for wanting to take things to the next level here. Wow, I love this, Aqua. Let's clarify the two of ones. Because now when you have went through a phase of obstacles and challenges and healing and learning and experience, you now know exactly what it is that you want. It kind of makes it easier for you in the outcome of that, right? Clarify the two of ones here, Golden Angels. Why do we have the two of ones here? What is this plan here? that's in mind what is the plan here for the two thank you so much we got the four of cups now this is cancer energy particularly or again this could be a pisces or a scorpio now i see some of you all because again this is where we brought you at as where you were contemplating and trying to figure out if this was the route that you wanted to take or go because the space again that you're in right now you have evolved. You have grown spiritually here to kind of decipher which route or which way you want to go now. And even when it comes to your relationships, your love life, and even your past relationship. So I feel like some of you all may have gotten an offer, as I mentioned here earlier, rather this was someone new or someone from your past. But I do see some of you all rejecting that offer here with the four of cups and that's because you feel like you're no longer in the same space or energy that this person here was you feel like your timeline has advanced it has leveled up it has evolved so i feel like the space and energy that this king of cups is on or this could be a previous spouse of yours or an ex of yours or a mother or father to your child to your aquarius you are no longer on this frequency, basically, or timeline anymore. You're not seeing this space or energy the same anymore because you have evolved. You have healed. So it's taking you spiritually to another environment or space for yourselves. And this is why at this time you're ready to move forward. Some of you are because of the disappointment. Some of you are because of the way you were treated with this person. Some of you are because things just don't feel the same anymore with this person. 
And I feel like some of y'all are now realizing that. You may have felt like I've outgrown this person or I'm no longer fulfilled. It's like a void there now. So when something continuously happens, it's the same pattern. It's not evolving. It's just going up against a brick wall. This is how you all are feeling. Excuse me. And now you're deciding to make a choice to go after what you feel like that you are deserving of or what's more on your frequency of vibration, or what more that you now realize that you resonate with. You realize now that you don't no longer resonate with this person anymore. Clarify the, the King of Cups. Wow, Aquarius, if the reading here today is resonating for you so far, smash that like button, of course. All right, that'd be very much appreciated. And if you would love to book a personal reading, Aquarius, my email details is down below in the description box. All right, clarify the King of Cups, please. We got the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this was someone that some of you all, you were in a commitment, a long-term commitment with this person, or this could have been someone again that... Um, could have been the mother, the father of your child. This could have been an ex-spouse of yours here recently. Yeah, but I see at the bottom of the deck here, you're kind of more, again, in your own lane, in your own zone. You're protecting yourself. You're guarding yourself. You're not so much as open as you were with this person anymore. Some of y'all, you literally feel like you've already outgrown this person, that you're not on the same timeline anymore, that they're still maybe wanting to remain on. You realize how much you have grown and evolved and learned over time that this person is not wanting to do the same. So this could be causing you to a lot of tension in the house, in the family, in the relationship. It could have caused a lot of conflicts back and forth where you two are not have been able to be on the same page anymore with each other. Right? So because of that, let's see what's coming next in love for you. Okay, and then we're going to close out with my raw tarot index cards to see how this person feels or what do they want to say on behalf of the connection here that you two have had or is having. Some of y'all, you may have already separated yourself from this person um, physically wise. Some of you all, you may have only separated yourself mentally. You could still be here in this relationship or in this household, but you haven't all the way disconnected yet, okay? And some of you all with that two of ones, you've already made your decision physically, emotionally, and um, spiritually here. So let's see here, Guardian Angels, what's to come in love for Aquas, for the ones that have already dismissed themselves? We got pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Yeah, like I said, some of you all are realizing the connection that you're having with this person. Some of you all are seeing the red flags in this relationship here with this person. You're getting all the synchronicities and the signs. Yeah, look at that. We got you deserve love. You are lovable. All right. Some of you all, this is a Sagittarius here that you are connecting with or was connected with, all right? Every time I see that bow and arrow, I think of a Sagittarius, <laughs> okay? So a Sagittarius could be significant here. But however, this is you realizing that I deserve genuine love. Maybe, like I said, some of y'all don't feel fulfilled because we got the Four of Cups here. So some of y'all definitely do no, no longer feel fulfilled by this person anymore. You're not happy, you're not, you know, it's not a satisfying feeling anymore with this person anymore. Yeah, look at that. We got forgiving and learning. And this is what some of you all are trying to cope with now. You're trying to heal. You're trying to, you know, evolve. And you're the more you have healed and evolved, the more you're recognizing that this person is no longer meeting your needs. And some of y'all are realizing that this is this person wasn't the person for me at all. You know, it's gonna be different for everyone. Everyone has their own reasons of why they are now in this space and rejecting this individual, right? Everyone's reasons are different. Wow, beautiful message here. Again, definitely if the reading so far has gave you some clarity and even confirmation of what you were already feeling, all right? Don't forget to smash that like button. Share, share, share this message, Aqua, with who you know the reading today may resonate for as well, all right? Let's go ahead and see what does this person think? What do they think about this connection here, okay? Let's get a couple cards out here to see how they 
uh, oh my goodness, they thought about it. We got a shave. We got facts. So facts, yeah. Yeah, look at that. I only wanted you. And then we have facts. So some of y'all, you realize the facts in this relationship. You've gotten the facts about this person. Um, you got the truth out of this situation here. Some of y'all, the more that you have been in this connection with this person, the more you have felt and seen the truth and gotten the truth out of this situation. You've gotten the facts here, everything that you needed to know or see for yourself. You now see that. All right. And I feel like there could have been a situation where this person may have stepped out on you. They maybe was not being honest with you is why they're stating that they only wanted you, okay? There could have been someone else here involved, all right, as well, Aquarius, that you realized about this person in this situation here. And now because you have seen everything for the way that it is and paid attention to those red flags, right? You now know, you now know the truth. You now know what it, time it is for you is why that card, pay attention to the red flags came out and you deserve love, right? Yes, yes, you absolutely deserve love, Aquas. Wow, I'm going to leave this portion of the reading here. Um, again, however, if you would love to book a personal reading, my email details is down below in the description box. Thank you all so much again for tuning in today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the message with who you know the reading today may resonate for. And do be sure to set your notification bell, Aqua, so you can be aware of of the next time when I go live on this channel. And if you would love to extend your stay and become part of our beautiful Patreon family where I do provide exclusive perks and discounts for the channel here, you get early access to my readings. You also get free questions every time I go live, 25% discount off on personal readings and plus more. All right, so definitely that's something that you're interested in. We would love to have you a part of our soul family here. That link for Patreon is also on the home page as well. Thank you all so much, Aquas. And I wish you and this person the best, my loves. All right? Bye-bye.